always make out time for God. I know why I'm saying this, that you should make out time for God. Because most times, it's a very simple thing that you need to do for your prayer to, to be answered. And uh, maybe what you are doing is to ask God to bless you. God, give me these. God, I want you to bless me with these. God, I want you to give me car. God, I want you to give me house. God, I want you to give me husband. God, I want you to give me children. Yes, praying like that, it is also good. For a closed mouth is a closed destiny. And whatsoever you ask God, God will do for you. So if you have been praying and your prayer has not been answered, it looks as if the more you pray, the more your problem are getting worse. The more you pray, the more things are becoming difficult for you. The more you pray, the more the life that you are living are becoming more difficult for you. Do this and your prayer will be answered. There are ways too you need to approach God for God to answer you. And that I'm going to share with you on this video. How to call God, how to talk to God for God to answer you and it's very simple hello my beautiful people you're welcome on this channel we pray we share tips and messages spiritual tips that will help you greatly to grow spiritually if this is the first time you're seeing my video you are highly welcome please hit the right subscribe button to join the family to my returning viewers thank you so much for always supporting this channel and I love you all so I want to share with you what to do for your prayers to be answered and how to do it like i said before it's not every time you pray you ask god to do this for you do that for you there is something you need to do for god for god to always answer your prayer and that is what praises some people neglect praising and thanking god but that is the only thing that God can take from you. That is the only gift that you can give to God. God will take it. It's to praise God and to do what? Mention his name. Jesus, I thank you. Lord, Heavenly Father, I worship you. My God, I magnify your name. Thank you for you are worthy. You are worthy. Lord Jesus, you are worthy. These are the things that you can give to God. All you own, all you have, God gave it to you. You are alive today is because of his reason, because of God. Your family, everyone in your family, they are alive today because of God. Give them the grace to still breathe. That is why they are still alive. So the only thing that you should always do whenever you have prayed and prayed and prayed and no answer, the only thing you should do is to do what? Sing praises to God. Worship Him. Exalt His name. Magnify His name. Sing praises to His throne. Tell him that you love him. That he is your father. He is your father, Titi Lailai. That there is no God like him. Praises can roll mountain. Praises can roll away problems in your life without you knowing it. So if you pray for a particular situation for a very long time, you have prayed for God to do this for you for a very long time. Why not stop praying? Why not stop praying? Praying God, do this for me. Why not stop praying God, do that for me? Why not make our time for worshiping God? Though the Bible says pray at all season. At all season does not mean you should go and ask God, do this for me, do that for me. You worshiping and honoring his name is also a prayer. That is a very powerful prayer. More than asking God, do this for me. God, do that for me. You know when you praise God, when you thank him for the things he has done for you, even for the things that 
he is about to do in your life. And you've not seen that, but you are thanking God. You've been busy praising God and worshiping him. When you look, you'll not see that problem again. Because your life is occupied praising him. Your soul is occupied worshiping him and he is going to come and dwell in you and when he dwells in you every problem that is in your life because god and problem cannot stay together when he finds that problem in you as he wants to dwell in you he is going to roll away that problem from your life to occupy your soul that is one important thing one significant thing that will happen to you when you praise god always he will come and dwell in you. And when he is coming to dwell in you, because him and the problems that are in your life cannot be in you, he will eliminate every problem that is in your life for him to occupy your soul, for him to occupy your life. He will start rolling those problems away until he finish every problem, eliminating them. And he will now occupy your souls. That is when you will see yourself at all time. You are singing praises even without you knowing that you are singing. Even when you are walking on the road, you are singing praises because God is dwelling in you, walking in you and eliminating the problems that you are facing in life. That shows you that is, there is two ways of praying. The other one is asking, God do this, God do that. The other one is praying by praising God. So you should always prefer praying by praising God. Not praying by asking God do that. God do this. Have you ever asked yourself, since they gave birth to me, I have been praying God do this for me, God do that for me. And yet I have not done anything for God. Why? Can't I do something for God by dedicating my time, praying by praising him? When you plead God for mercy by praying by praising him, your life will automatically change for good. Every problem that you have been praying for that has been disturbing you, when God will roll it away from your life, you will not even know that miracle have taken place in your life is when you look for the problem and you cannot see it again that is when you know that miracle has taken place in your life so learn how to pray by praising god not how to pray by asking god do this or do that for me the bible say if you cannot praise him if the man that he created cannot praise him he will do what he will cause the stone the best the leaf to praise him that shows you how important praises is to god to bless you so you should always prefer prayer to praise because when you are praying to praise god god is going to come and dwell in you he is going to occupy you thereby rolling the problems that you are facing out of your life without you knowing it. When you pray by asking God what you want God to do for you, when you pray, your mind will still be on that which you prayed for, you want to see results. And if the result did not occur immediately, you will start backbiting. That is blasphemy. But when you pray by praising God, you will not think about your problem. And God will come into your life and roll that problems away when you are busy praying by praising God. And when you look, you will not see that problem because your mind is not in that problem. Rather, your mind is in God, how to please God. So learn to pray by praising God. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please hit the right subscribe button Give this video a thumbs up to like it and I love it all.